What's going on guys? Today we are in downtown Pensacola and I'm super excited today to show you everything there is to know. I'm gonna talk a lot about food, uh, places to shop, things to do, everything that goes on down here. And right now I'm actually at the beginning of what we call South Palafox Street, which is kind of the beginning of downtown itself. Right over here behind me is actually where the farmer's market happens every single Saturday. One of the best farmer's markets I've ever been to. Uh, just spans for several blocks and you know it's a place where you can get together it's outdoors every saturday it's under some long kind of canopy trees and it's just fun and there's everything you could want there's boutique shopping plants for sale vegetables local farmers craft goods boutique little vendors coffee you name it it's here and uh, it's every saturday you got to check it out they actually just added 40 new vendors but it's actually about halfway down south Polifox street and so they did just start a new trolley system, which you can catch that. If you don't feel like walking a couple blocks to the new section, you can get on the new trolley. Really neat. It's just something to start your weekend off. And that happens at the beginning of downtown Pensacola. And that's what we're checking out here today. While you're here, maybe grab a coffee. I am a frequent Advent coffee drinker. So there are quite a few options here. One is gonna be the Rex Cafe, which is kind of the beginning. Really cool, it's an old theater. It's actually now a church, but you can go inside, it's public. One of the best coffee, one of my top options here, but you're gonna have quite a few others as well. We've also got Fosco's. That's probably gonna be one of the most popular options. Aesthetically, it's kind of cool. It's got this copper brass look inside. They've also got a little backyard courtyard kind of thing that you can check out. And so Fosco's is gonna be the top of the list. If you Google coffee shops downtown, it's probably gonna be the first option but you also have the Nest Cafe. Not really a place where there's much seating, but good coffee. They even have some vegan options. If you're into that, some breakfast. And I almost forgot to mention, Fosco's has crepes. So if you're into that, you should definitely go there. There's a new one called Makers, kind of near the end of South Palafox Street. Really good coffee, kind of small, New Orleans looking style boutique cafe. And then lastly, you also have Bodacious, which is also an olive oil shop. They've got a gift shop upstairs, a great place to network or sit down, plenty of seating. And they're gonna be actually the only one that has a drive-through. So if you're looking to grab some local coffee on the go, you don't feel like parking, then maybe Bodacious is the option. So one of the best things about downtown is that there's always events going on. Right here where I'm at, and then further down, you're gonna have parades all the time. You've got the Christmas parade, the Martin Luther King parade, Mardi Gras is a big one, of course, and there's a few others as well. The Fiesta Five Flags parade, tons of parades, uh, but there's also events that go down here. You have gallery night, which is about once a month, really awesome. They're gonna shut down most of Palafox Street. You can walk around, Again, there's going to be added vendors, live music, just so much going on. The community gets together. There's going to be dancing, tons of places to shop. All the breweries are open, and breweries is a whole other subject. Uh, we're actually in the top 10 for the most breweries per capita. So if you love that, you love craft beer, or just even hanging out in that kind of atmosphere. We currently have 14 different breweries. A lot of those are downtown, so you won't have a shortage of places to drink. But the nightlife, the energy, it all happens here. Some people call it mini NOLA, New Orleans. I can see where it gets that vibe. We are America's first settlement here. Uh, but to me, it's a lot more clean, if you will, a little bit more family friendly. And it's just such a great place to walk around. I mean, truly, you could park your car, or you can grab an e-scooter or an e-bike. You're gonna have so much to do. So the events are constantly going on. So while you're downtown, you might wanna check out some of the art galleries. There are three that I'm aware of. They're all free to go inside. You can actually usually buy art, but you have the Artel Gallery, you've got Quayside Art Gallery, and you also have the Blue Moon. And these are kind of what the gallery night is themed off of. Of course, there's much more than just art. Another cool aspect of downtown that you should check out is the galleries. They're open all the time. Pop in there, see some local artists, maybe pick up a painting or a mural that you can use in your own home. Whether you live here or you're on vacation, you can take that home and kind of keep an aspect of that with you. Take Pensacola and the pride here. So let's talk about one of my favorite subjects and that's food. There is so much good food here downtown. You just have everything. I mean, you've got breakfast, you've got ice cream shops. We talked about coffee, but let's name a few of those great places. 
If you want kind of fancy, higher end, maybe date night, or you want a delicious steak, then you're gonna to wanna to check out Jackson's Steakhouse and also the District. Those two are about on par as far as steakhouses go. And you've also got Angelina's Italian Restaurant. The three of those are gonna be kind of on the higher end, but so delicious, oh my gosh, award-winning. And then you have other places. You've got Asian food, you've got cones, which is also delicious, cones on Palafox. You're gonna have a really cool kind of food truck section called the Garden. There's about five different little food trucks with all kinds of different food. There's also a bar in there, you can grab a drink. So you gotta check out the Garden, that's definitely a cool spot. Like I said, ice cream shops, there's actually three different places you can get ice cream. There's one all the way at the end of the pier, at the end of South Palafox Street, you've got Bubba Watson's ice cream shop. And then you also have a new place that's a chocolatier, a little bit more fancy, but absolutely delicious. Something to do with the kids, or if you just want a milkshake or a scoop of ice cream, you can check that out. As far as breakfast goes, you gotta check out the Ruby Slipper. That one is really delicious, kind of a New Orleans style. It's not a local place, but there's only a few of them around. Uh, again, some of those are in New Orleans. Absolutely delicious. Gets super busy on the weekends though, so gotta be careful about that. There is just so many places to eat. I'm kinda only brushing the surface, but I don't wanna go too much into the food. For sure, downtown, if you're hungry, you got places to go. So another really cool thing that you can do downtown is gonna be the dolphin cruises as well as the ferry rides to the beach. Both are typically available through the week and the weekends. They can get a little bit busy, so you wanna schedule in advance. And it's about $30 for an adult, um, a little bit less for kids, but it can be an all day event. If you jump on the dolphin cruises, you can do a sunset one. You definitely should have an opportunity to see some dolphins. And you've got AC inside. There's typically beverages, there's restrooms, so it's really fun. And then you can also take the ferry, which goes between downtown Pensacola, goes to Fort Pickens State Park, and also Pensacola Beach. That could definitely be an all-day event. It's kind of a hop-on, hop-off type schedule. You just wanna make sure you're there at the right time. But yeah, if you got something, nothing better to do, you should absolutely check out the ferries or the dolphin cruises, really cool. So if you're downtown, you've got to check out Seville Quarter. It's kind of a famous bar. There's actually seven different themed bars inside. It's got kind of a dance floor. You've got a place to eat. You've got live music, local events always going on. I'm right here at Seville, and it's kind of established in the 1960s, so there's a lot of that character still here. Really cool place. You get access to all of them. You even have an outdoor space section. Kind of go outside, you can smoke, whatever it is that you fancy. You're gonna find something that you would like here at Seville. Actually, small world, I did not grow up here, but my dad played his first venue or gig at Seville Quarter. He's a trumpet player. That was a long time ago, but Seville Quarter, you gotta check it out. If you're in Pensacola, historic, charming, nightlife, all that good stuff right here. So whether you are a history buff or you're just trying to get out of the heat, check out the Pensacola History Museums. For $12 general admission, you're actually gonna get access to more than one. There's a little over five. I'm gonna show you kind of what you get access to. It's really cool. Inside, AC, you can learn a little bit of the history. Again, this is America's first settlement, and it's just a fun experience. You get to feel enriched, whether you're a tourist or a local, you gotta check it out. It's $12. There is a discount if you're a veteran. It's free for students and children are also free. There's a children's museum, but a lot of history, really rich. You gotta check out the Pensacola History Museums. So I'm actually in front of the Pensacola Little Theater, and this is gonna be like local shows, you know, people that actually live here putting on plays and musicals, really cool. This building actually used to be the jail down here in the downtown Pensacola, so a lot of history there, totally refurbished inside, pretty cool building, you should check it out. And they're actually building a rooftop bar way up top, that's gonna be neat. You'll be able to see the water from here, but the Pensacola Little Theater, pretty neat. But you absolutely have to check out the Sanger Theater. That's also downtown. It's gonna be a much bigger venue. You're gonna have famous comedians, famous musical artists, live shows, opera, you know, live musicals, etc. So if you're looking something to do, you gotta check out the Sanger Theater or the Pensacola Little Theater as well. Both really cool, both downtown. There is a lot to do, so much to appreciate about downtown Pensacola. I am down here at the very end, South Palafox at the pier. I'm also in front of the Jacko's Seafood Restaurant and the marina. My name's Levi Fortner, I'm with LPT Realty and I run the Fortner Group right here in Pensacola and along the Emerald Coast. 
If you're interested in real estate or you just want to stay up to date with everything there is to do, eat, sleep, play right here. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.